Yo, what is going on guys today back with another video today I'm gonna be showing you guys an advanced sky compositing tutorial all in after effects in the title It says advanced, but this is actually something that's very simple. There's not gonna be any annoying keyframes There's not gonna be a bunch of confusing steps It's gonna be some really simple stuff just put together in a creative way So if you guys enjoy the content, please leave a like on the video It's gonna help a lot with the growth of this channel I've actually done something similar to this before where I talked about how to take away the sky and put in backgrounds in Premiere That was using color keys as well as ultra keys and it looks a little bit more choppy more of kind of like a beginner trick definitely check out the video if you haven't already something that's really cool this is going to be a little bit different this is more of going to be showing you guys how to create like meteors in the sky lightning in the sky clouds in the sky something like that cole bennett lil xan far music video something like the exo tour life um, music video where they have like the purple lightning in the sky stuff like that if you use the steps that i show you in this video you'll be able to create stuff just like that very easily so what we're going to be doing is taking this footage and putting it into after effects so we've got san francisco right here and what i'm going to be doing is putting meteors in the sky very easily so let's right click on this and replace this with after effects composition so we've got our footage right here in After Effects. If you only have After Effects, you can just open it up in After Effects very simply. So now what we're going to do is we're going to set this up for the effect we'd like to use. And this effect is actually going to do all of the 3D tracking for us. And that means that we don't have to do any keyframing. We don't have to animate anything in the sky. It's gonna be, it's gonna make our lives a lot easier because no one likes to keyframe. It's long, it's annoying. It's something that a lot of people have to go through and figure out, but there are ways to get around it. And 3D tracking is one of those ways that you guys should be taking advantage of. So first things first, just Right click right here go to columns make sure that switches and modes are both checked we're going to need both the switches and the modes to be able to get the look that we're going for next just switch off this one this is the collapse transformations button make sure that's switched off um, once that's switched off we'll be able to apply this effect right here so we're going to go to our effects library and look up 3d camera tracker take that put that onto our clip it's going to analyze in the background it's going to create all the 3d points for us so that you don't have to do any of the work so it's basically just letting the computer do the um, keyframing work for us okay guys so the computer has gone through and created all those 3d points if you drag around here you're going to see that it sticks to the buildings um, that looks very good and now what we can do is start creating some 3d points and then adding things into those 3d points that are going to get the look that we want so to be able to so to be able to do that very simple just drag to the very beginning and we're going to move our cursor around here you're going to see this bullseye pop up this is just telling you that you can add something between these 3d tracked points so i'm going to right click on that i'm going to click create solid and camera it's going to create this square right here we can take that square and let's just move that into the sky and just resize it and we're going to put a nice meteor right there so to do that let's right click on that track solid we're going to click pre compose and then we're going to click ok once you pre-compose that, it's going to give you the ability to double click on this and then actually click on the track solid and delete it. And now we've just got this black canvas right here that we can put anything we'd like and it's going to be completely 3D tracked. We don't have to do any of the keyframing. So before we do that, let's go up to composition. Let's go to composition settings and let's just make the width of this 1920. What that's doing is it's just going to make this a little bit bigger, give us a bigger space and make whatever effects we add into this a little bit more HD. So now we need some meteor animations, we need some 4K stuff, some clouds, whatever we want to put in here. I have a site that I talk about a lot to be able to get these and that is Production Crate. I'm actually sponsored by them. If you go and link if you go to the link in the description, it'll take you here. All of these meteor effects are actually 100% free. You don't have to be a premium member. If you do want to become a premium member, you'll have access to a lot of other cool 4K animation stuff like this. Once you get to this page, go ahead and just click this button in the corner to download that. Once you find wherever you've downloaded it, open it up and drag it into your project bin right here. And you're going to see all these right here. So once you've done that, just take whatever meteor you would like and drag it into your line like this. And if you scroll around here, you'll see this is what it looks like. We can resize it in this bin just like that. And it's looking pretty good. We got the nice smoke in here looking pretty accurate. Once you've done that, go ahead and click back on your link composition. And you're going to see that the square turned into a meteor just like that. So the cool thing about this is this is 100% 3D tracked. And we can actually make any adjustments to this. We can rescale it however we'd like. Or we can rotate it however we'd like. And it's still going to stay 3D tracked. So... Let's go ahead and open this up, the options right here. Let's open up transform, and then let's just change the Z position like that. And I'm gonna show you guys a cool little trick where we can actually mask this to make it look like it's going through the buildings. So that might sound difficult to you guys, but like I said, it is actually very, very simple, just using some very simple masking techniques. So this is what we got so far. We've got this going through the building, kind of looks like it's just going past the building. This is what we're gonna do to be able to create that cool effect. So what we're gonna do is come up here to our toolbar, click on the pen tool, 
and we're just going to click an outline around this building just like this click this you're going to see your animation disappear but that's okay all you have to do is click the m key on your keyboard it's going to open up your mask options as you see right here let's go ahead and change the mask from add to subtract so what that means is anytime this animation passes through the mask, it's going to subtract it just like that. And it looks like it's going through the building or behind the building, however you want to do it. And as you can see, because we did that 3D tracking at the beginning, if I scroll along here and if you watch this mask, the mask is the mask is 100% 3D tracked. As you see, it moves along here. It sticks to the corners of the building. Don't have to do any keyframing. It's a perfect, perfect keyframe mask on there just with, the, just with that 3D camera tracking step. Let's do the same for this building right here. I'm going to draw a second mask around here something like that and then i'm going to change the mask to subtract and then as you see once your animation of the meteor gets to that building it's going to go through just like that and it looks good the smoke's coming out both sides now all you have to do is just rewind the video and just follow the steps on how to make the track solid how to put the meteors in there and you can actually create meteors going all over the place if you guys would want to change any of the way this mask is you can actually click the mask pass the mass path animation and just keyframe that make any adjustments you would like using the keyframe button and then just moving around any of the points i have so many videos talking about how to do similar stuff like this as well as other videos talking about 3d tracking like 3d tracking fire and buildings those will be linked down below if you guys are new here make sure you subscribe check out my content i've got a mix of reacting to editing i've got a mix of filmmaking tips i've got a mix of tutorials i've got a bunch of cool stuff on the channel so hope you guys join the community i've also got a website with a bunch of free resources thousands of free resources and packs for you guys to be able to download to help you guys with your projects so the very last step to be able to finalize this is once you're going back into Premiere, make sure you just click on your original footage. And once you've done all of your 3D tracking, just delete the 3D track effect. Everything is still going to stay 3D tracked. But for some reason, if you keep that effect on there, it can make your After Effects crash if you're going back between After Effects and Premiere. So make sure you do that. File save and then go back into Premiere and you can view that. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you'd like to see next in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys later.